Hey there, ever wondered if we could actually slow down aging? Well, the science of 2025 has some fascinating answers, and I'm here to break it down for you. First, let's understand what aging really is. It's not just a single switch that gets flipped. It's more like a complex orchestra of different processes. We're talking about DNA damage, tired out mitochondria, chronic inflammation, and changes in how our genes express themselves. One of the biggest breakthroughs is our understanding of what scientists call zombie cells, or senescent cells if you want to get technical. These troublemakers accumulate as we age, spewing out harmful molecules that mess with our healthy cells. But here's the exciting part. Researchers are developing drugs called senolytics that can actually clear out these zombie cells. Then there's autophagy. Think of it as your body's recycling system. As we age, this system gets sluggish, but we're discovering ways to kick it back into gear. Caloric restriction, fasting, and certain nutrients can all help boost this cellular cleanup crew. Here's something mind-blowing. Scientists have found that super centenarians, people who live past 110, have unusually stable epigenetic patterns. These are like chemical tags on our DNA that change as we age, but these super-agers somehow maintain theirs better than the rest of us. Now, let's talk about what we can actually do today. Exercise is still king. It boosts your mitochondria and keeps your brain plastic and adaptable. A diet rich in polyphenols, think colorful fruits and vegetables, fights oxidative stress. And never underestimate the power of good sleep and stress management. They're crucial for controlling inflammation and gene expression. The pharmaceutical world isn't sitting idle either. Drugs like rapamycin and metformin are showing promising results. Rapamycin has already extended lifespan in animal studies and is showing positive effects on immune function in early human trials. Metformin, originally a diabetes drug, is being tested for its potential to delay multiple age-related diseases. But here's the most important thing to remember. The goal isn't just to live longer, it's to live better, healthier lives. Scientists call this health span versus lifespan. What's the point of adding years to your life if you can't enjoy them, right? The science of aging in 2025 isn't about finding the fountain of youth. It's about understanding our biology better and making smart interventions that help us stay healthy and vital for as long as possible. And honestly, that's even better than eternal youth.